What is up, you guys? We are back at our flea market. It's been a couple weeks since you've been out yeah, here. Yeah, it's been Just like three weeks. I'm ready to do this. I am super excited. We got the wagon. We're good to go. Let's see what we can find. Today's video is actually being sponsored by Rolo, which I am super excited about, but I'll tell you guys about that later on. We're going to get to this first row over here and see what we can find. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Lots of cool masks. Yeah, nice cool day out today. Yeah, this is yes. nice. That is, that's really cool. Is this your stuff? Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Where did you get this master's sweater from? That's oh, nice. Santa. That's awesome. You and you got it on a mannequin? You look like a <laughs> like a strip mall out here. I know, right? Try to set it up. What do you want for the master's? Just 10 bucks. Yep. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's cool. I hate to take take the one thing off your mannequin, but... Okay. I, can, I can reset it back up. That's right. There you go. Appreciate it all with you. 10 bucks. Thank you. Yep. Like, you like your shirt? Uh, my wife is never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta no, get one. I got this from... Well, I'm not married, but I got it from the two nights ago for a dollar fifty. There you go. There you go. They got the other one. It says the reverse though, too. Uh oh. About the husband. I don't think the sales on that one are quite as strong. I know, right? <laughs> got a lot of stuff out here. Love. A lot of stuff. Is this your stuff too? Yeah. Okay. I like that you turn the tables, changing things up a little bit. Yeah, I've got another table I put out here. Just a little bit of some media. Okay. I mean, honestly, that box I haven't really gone through yet, so I haven't priced anything. What are you asking for the Thundercats thing? Probably 20 bucks. Do you know if... It looks like it's still sealed, but do you... Do you I'll be honest with you, I have not opened it myself. Man. If you want to, we'll open it together. That's, that's the thing. I was like, I don't want to break the seal, but I don't know if that's the official seal, you know? I don't know if it is either. Is it just the console? I've got quite a few consoles, Harry. I've got some in the car I haven't brought out yet because it's the morning dude. Yeah. Um, and I then, appreciate that. I hate when people bring all this stuff out and then it gets wet. That's that nice. is a uh, Benchmade Autocraft 3400. It's a $487.90. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what is what is the price of it out here? I'll be honest with you, I'd go to. Hey, Luke, can I spend $200 on a knife? I will leave that, but somebody will buy it. Uh, no, that's like hard stuff. It goes, to, it goes to the consoles. Yeah. Like I know I got a power system for a 360, uh, some controllers. I got an Xbox One controller over here, uh, a bunch of other little knickknacks. Here's another. Goosebumps are good. Like Crocodile Dundee. Have you ever seen that movie? No. It's a great movie. I think it was like some figurine or something. I'll do that. Probably. I like it. Like two more, and you can have the other part. I don't seven know. For both? Okay. All right, so let's seven, get out of here before we spend too much money. Two. Did you pay for those? No, I haven't paid for anything yet. Okay. Seven. Seven. For eight. Two, four, six. What's the other book you got up there? The handbook. Yeah. If we put the books back and do 20 for everything here, the pops, light, and the two figures. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right. There you go, sir. I appreciate it. I'm surprised that's what y'all you wanted. You didn't see the black Furby? Yeah, I just, we got a lot of stuff. Hey guys, how are y'all? Good, Good, how are you? Good. Mm -hmm. um, 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 that is a Cutco knife, never been used. The Fisherman's Solution. It is Cutco? Yes. What do you want for that? Uh, 50. Because it sells for like 100 something. Well, I can do 50 if that's true. Let me, you mind if I look it up? No, go for it. I'll show you. I'll show you here. So there's 20 listed and 75 sold, which is good. But 52 bucks plus shipping, 89. That's an orange one or something. 63. That's that one then. Yeah, that's that one right there, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, 63, okay. 75. Okay. So it sells fast, so I'm okay. interested in it, okay. but I couldn't do 50. What would what, you give me? Um, could you do 30? Ooh, I don't really want to go that low. Um, you can't 
can't give me 50 for it? I definitely can't do 50. No. How about 40? Uh, I can do 40, I okay. think. Right. I think I can do 40. Thank you, darling. Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. You got any more Cutco stuff? No, that's all I got. Huh? Okay, cool. I'm yeah, excited. I sold it for when he first got started. Yeah. He sold it and he's like, ah. Oh, they're great knives. Yeah, they are, but they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for they sure. Very expensive. Yes. Thank all right. You. Thank you. I don't know if that's a Michael Jordan one or just a basketball one, but it's cool. Is this your stuff? Yeah. What are you asking for this? $12. $12. Do you know if there's supposed to be something on the sides here? No. I feel like there's supposed to be. I'll take 10 for it. Let's see. There's 10 bucks. Thank you, sir. So take a chance on that. Just a quick update. Turns out this basketball phone was missing some little clip things on the side. And even if it had them, it's not really worth anything. So this was just a, a bad buy all around. I've never seen them in a high top like that before. Yeah. yeah. Probably need some new laces. What are you going for these? Uh, I'll, I'll take five for those, Josh. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Thanks, yeah. man. Thank you. Appreciate what y'all do. I've learned a lot. Hey, I appreciate you coming out here and selling. That gives us stuff to buy and gives <laughs> us content. So it's the circle of life. I figured we could probably get about 40 to 50 bucks for these extra long Converse shoes, but there's actually a sold comp for this exact pair on eBay for $95 plus shipping in used condition. So the first row is down and we put a, put a good hurting on it. I mean, we definitely found more stuff in the past, but these long Converse should be really good i will have to get some more laces for them because they're all like chewed up on the ends but those should be good i think this might be good there's like a michael jordan phone i don't know if this is the same one but it's something to do with with basketballs but anyway not too bad for the first row i'm gonna uh, take a quick break and tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video rollo if you were to ask any online reseller what their best investment was in their business i'm willing to bet that at least nine out of ten of those people would say a thermal label printer. If you go to the post office to buy your shipping labels, they're going to charge you full retail price on those, which can be up to 90% higher than commercial rates you get online. So buying your own labels and printing them at home is an absolute must regardless of your sales volume. And one of the best parts about these thermal printers is that they use heat to print instead of ink. And since computer ink is literally one of the most expensive liquids in the world, you guys are going to save so much money. I think I was technically supposed to film an unboxing for this segment, but once we got the printer in the mail, I got too excited and immediately opened it and set it up. But it comes with everything you need the power cord, extra cables, even some extra labels. And the setup is super easy. Only three steps, probably took like five minutes. Now, while there are certainly other thermal printers you can choose from in the market, there's a reason you keep hearing the name Rolo come up in online reseller conversations. Their machines are easy to use, easy to set up. The printing is very high quality, and they also don't force you to use their own expensive proprietary shipping labels like some of these other big companies. Stop buying overpriced labels from the post office. Stop using regular computer printers to print these labels, wasting the ink and having to cut and tape each label to each box. Click the link down below and make the investment done by thousands of online resellers and get a Rolo thermal wireless printer today these are good this king unique oh yeah see she somebody knows know good stuff yeah these are these <laughs> I are love interesting somebody know knowledgeable people they don't know i don't i don't know everything but after doing this for so long we we've learned see, a couple I used shoes to work in mm -hmm. men's department yeah i was the number one and after they didn't turn around I say, oh, ladies department, I'm, I was number one. I was working three jobs. I was and now you're out here number one. The Tony Lama. Yeah. We don't have much to get like what boots. Yeah, I just, I mean, I know Tony Lamas are good. It's just so weird. Like everybody else sells boots and I don't, every pair of boots we've ever sold has been returned because they don't fit. And it's just. That's Tony, Tony Lama's bottom part, look at it. Tony Lama. Yeah, they're in, in great Tony shape. Tony Lama. All right, let's make it. Let's make a pile. Okay, I'll make it. Pile, 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 pile. All right, we'll do the we'll do the Tony Llamas. If I can't sell them, we can we come back and get our money back yeah. in thirty days. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Sure. We'll take a chance on the Tony Llamas. We'll do these. Okay. Because Nikes missing insoles, but they're they're good. We'll do. Look at beside them one, new one. These. No, them one. 
Yeah, that, that and they're both of them. Look at your bottom part. Oh, yeah, those are new. Yeah. They're tiny, though. Yeah, they're small. But you can sell. Five years. I promise. Yeah. I'll do these. These are golf shoes, which yeah. they may be tough to sell since they're red, but I think they're interesting. A lot of people like red. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Pretty interesting. I used to play golf for two, you know. You uh, did? Snow ski, water ski, you name yeah, it. Yeah, you did cool. everything. Yeah. Whenever I was pregnant, uh, about six months pregnant, I was a snow ski. <laughs> huh. My doctor said, please don't snow ski. Please don't do that. Please stop <laughs> snow skiing. Do You're pregnant. Johnson and Murphy. This is another one that's like, it's supposed to be good. Yeah, that's a good brand name. Name brand. Yeah. These are Gore-Tex soles. I'll add those in too. And then. You got a bag? No bag. We'll we'll put it in the wagon. wagon. It's fine. Oh. We'll do. All right. Then, so we got. I'll do these Nikes. I'll do these Keens. The Johnson and Murphys. Those Nikes. These golf shoes and the Tony Llama. I got hundred for all of them. A hundred? No, that's too little. Too little. I can I can do more than that. How much? Let's let's do. Uh, I'll give you another twenty. One hundred and twenty. Ah, oh, you sweetheart. Twenty, forty, <laughs> yeah. sixty, eighty, hundred, one hundred twenty. That's more than fair. If we can sell the boots. Yeah. I also want to give it to you. I don't care. You like it or not, you take it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. He's always no giving one. us free stuff. They're new no ones. And then they got those boots. I know. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, yeah. That's for her. She can wear those. She's got cold feet. There you go. Thank you so much. Is that fair? That's more than fair. More than fair. You're the nicest person out here. Aww. Oh, give me a hug. You say I'm so nice. You are. You are. <laughs> Two hugs. Two hugs. <laughs> Two hugs, yeah. All right. What about these? Just <laughs> throw in there. Sure. All right, we gotta get no, no more. Thank you so much. <laughs> Miss Petra has to be the nicest person. She is. <laughs> Literally just throwing shoes into the cart as we walk away. <laughs> what are you asking for a Mario Kart? Thirty bucks. And the PS5 controller. We only have a way to test that because we don't have a PS5. We really like buying stuff like that, like video games and controllers and stuff, because it sells so fast. And even if the margins are slim, like you could, if you can buy something for 30 bucks and sell it for 50 within a couple hours, that would be worth it in our opinion, especially something like that game that um, takes so little amount of work to like photograph and list. But I think it's probably like Mario Kart 8 is like a $40 game. So even though it only takes a couple minutes to, to photograph and list, I don't think that would be worth it to make $6 in profit, yeah. you know. So you got three bucks on each pop and two bucks on this. Can you do ten for everything? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. We appreciate it. And this is sealed. That's pretty cool. I think it was about a year and a half ago when the sealed VHS tape market really started taking off and some titles started selling for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But in the last year and a half, I have found approximately zero sealed VHS tapes that were worth more than $2. And today is no exception. Back on the first row, see if we missed anything. I'm actually surprised at how successful we usually are on the second sweep of the first row. I almost always find something. Of course, now that I say that. He jinxed it. Yeah, jinxed it. We're gonna find anything. We're going for the beetle juice back here. I don't think you're gonna like that one, baby. Why? Because I, that's a hundred bucks. hundred bucks? Yes, sir. $185 on eBay. Does he work? Yes, sir. That's head spins and everything. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I like it for a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, I knew you went like that one. Did you look at this Juni? No, I don't know. You know I don't know anything about purses. Juni, this is real. What do you want on the Juni, though? That was just three. Three bucks? 
You're a madman. Judy is the only purse that I kind of, sort of know how to authenticate. Sort of. I'll give you five on that if you got 15 and change. Appreciate you. What are you asking for the fender here? Um, I need to ask my husband. Okay, yeah. I'm just curious. I'm sure it's going to be expensive, but it's nice. You think it's pretty? Yeah. Fender strap, sunburst. How's it going? She's beautiful. What are you, what are you asking? Uh, I'll take 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I know it's going to cast that. I wouldn't need it. Yeah. I'm trying, I got him a total. I'm trying to get rid of some of them. I understand. Let me can I pick it up here. Yeah, I'll do, I can do 50 bucks on this. What's the case too? Okay. I'm glad I asked. A lot of times I just assume things are too expensive. No. I was just gonna walk away. Uh, I think that's why you gotta ask. You gotta ask, that's right. We gotta get rid of stuff. We don't wanna take it back home. Right. I think some of these people do want to take it home well, with their prices. They do. <laughs> uh what is that? An acoustic bass? I just yeah, realized that. Bass, yeah. Huh. What do you want for that one? Uh take forty minutes. All right, I'll give you I'll give you a hundred for both. You're asking ninety. <laughs> That's more than fair. Twenty-four, sixty, eighty. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-four, sixty, eighty. All right, let me let me pay for these. Let me. Yeah, take that off. I have to. I think I'm done. I gotta leave some deals for other people. Somebody will buy it though. With your prices, for sure. What was that? The amp and the guitar. 40 bucks. 40 bucks for the amp and the guitar? Oh, take it. We need to get the I'll give you another 40 for that. Right. So, all right. Good. See, then we don't have to go back home with that. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you all so much. Have a good day and thank you so much. You're very welcome. Best customers of the day. You're the best sellers of the day. This is a great deal. And we got to go home and play guitar all day. I can hold that and just get the I'll get this. Let's get the heck out of here before we spend any more money. So whenever a seller at the flea market tells us that their item sells for a certain amount of money on eBay and they use that as a way to justify their asking price, um, I can appreciate that. Like it's nothing wrong with looking stuff on e up on eBay because we, we do it. Um, but you have to remember that these are flea market resellers, not eBay resellers. So more often than not, whatever they say is not correct. Like we saw that with the cut code knife today. I think that lady said they sell for like 150 bucks on eBay. I looked it up because if that was true, I would have no problem paying 50 bucks for it, but it actually does not. It sells for like 60 to $80 in used condition. So that's why we negotiated with her a little bit. And then at the end of the video, the guy had that Beetlejuice doll or something. And you looked that up and he said they sell for like 180 bucks on eBay and he was asking a hundred. And turns out there's only one. Yeah, there was one that sold for like 180, but it was like new in the box. Yeah, like brand spanking new. And his was not new in the box. And I also don't really think it worked that well. Like when I, the audio sounded weird and he said the head spin. It was old. Yeah, so, you know, just because somebody says it sells on eBay for a certain amount of money, usually 99 times out of 100, they're not correct. Again, it's not that they're lying to you. It's just that they don't have all the information available. So normally when we go to the flea market, I like to give you guys kind of a breakdown of everything we picked up, but I'm going to save you that trouble for today. You guys saw everything we picked up. The only thing I'm really unsure of is the guitar values. I know they were good deals, but I thought that was a Fender Stratocaster and it was a Fender Starcaster, which is a slightly lower model. I think there's two currently listed for like 200 bucks plus shipping and then one sold for like 75 or 80 plus shipping. But I, I think one for 150 plus shipping sold 150. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we paid 50 bucks for that. So that's a good deal. We'll probably just throw that up on like Facebook marketplace with the amp that does work uh, and just kind of sell it locally. I'm sure it'll be a great starter guitar for some uh, like young person or old person, whoever, whoever starting guitar, the cool bass acoustic bass guitar that the brand was BC, which is like best choice, which I think is like an Amazon brand for like starter guitars as well. And those are selling for like 80 to hundred bucks or so. Uh, so we're not gonna make a thousand dollars or anything from a, the guitar pickups, but it was a really good deal. I might actually keep the bass. I kind of, I kind of like it a little bit. You should learn how to play. Um, I should, I should learn how to play. So what I want to do next in today's video is share with you guys our total money raised for the Mi Esperanza seven day vlog series last week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch the previous 
seven or eight videos that we did uh, earlier on this channel. I basically went around while Haley was in on a mission trip to Honduras. I went to thrift stores, flea markets, wherever, looking for cool stuff, but what we normally do, but we sold everything in a big whatnot auction and all that money in the auction went to Mi Esperanza. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and sit this down. Haley, you wanna come over here so you can be in this part? Making Guys, our way. This has probably been the most exciting and coolest thing we've ever done on our channel. Absolutely. It's been a lot of work. If yes. you don't follow, uh, follow me on Instagram, we had some issues with the whatnot auction. Like we sold too many things. And like, as we got like halfway through printing the labels, like the site crashed and it's it's been a real headache. But shout out Whatnot, they've been super cool through the whole process, very responsive. We got it all figured out, all the orders are officially shipped. Uh, we're good to go, but it was slightly uh, more of a struggle than, <laughs> than anybody anticipated. But for a good reason, I guess. Like yeah. we had too many orders, which is why it crashed. And that's a pretty good reason yeah. to have something crash, so. It's pretty cool that we broke, broke Whatnot. <laughs> we're basically the same as Post Malone. So we have, uh, four pieces of cardboard here. These are the different amounts of money we raised for the charity. So we had the stuff we sold at auction. We had direct donations made to Mi Esperanza through their website. We had the sign up bonus for Whatnot. Last week, anybody who signed up for Whatnot using our code and bought something, Whatnot was giving us $50 in cash to go towards our charity. So we have that total. Uh, and then we have, what was that? Oh, the penny, penny. I was donating one penny for every for like every subscriber and like yeah yes. for every new subscriber we got last week and for every like that those videos got and that was that was pretty good as well so we'll start with that one that's the smallest we had 515 dollars and one penny donated that was just from the video likes and the video subscribers so this is basically you guys thank you so much next up were the direct donations and purchases made on mias bronze's website and last week that was roughly a thousand door a thousand door dories dories a thousand dollars i was thinking of lori she's the ceo in charge of Mia bronza and she's not at her computer at the moment but she said it was roughly a thousand dollars that came in either in direct donations from you guys or people that purchased something and, and mentioned us so that's awesome yes. there Next up, which is the auction total. We sold like 145 items. We actually mm -hmm. had three different auctions all together, but uh, after everything was said and done, all the stuff that was sold, all the donations that came in during the auction, we raised a total of $23,007.36. <laughs> so that was this awesome. Is wild. Again, all you guys. Just, Absolutely. We were blown away by the number of people who just wanted to donate money for the cause. So yeah. Just even awesome. Ashley, Hustle at Home Mom, she couldn't make it to the auction, but she Venmoed me 50 bucks, which mm -hmm. I added to this total. She's like, I couldn't make it to the auction, I just wanna support it. So thank you guys so much, everybody yes. that donated, you're awesome. Yes. And then the final total is the amount that we got from Whatnot for all of the sign up bonuses last week. So anybody that signed up a new user for Whatnot, mm -hmm. bought their first item and became a paid user, they gave us 50 bucks for that if they used our referral code. And we had, I think it was 590 something Whatnot sign up. So at 50 bucks a piece, it came in to just under $30,000. And we just went ahead and rounded that up. Whatnot's just gonna um, make the $30,000 donation to us and then we'll donate everything to Mia Esperanza. So the final number. Can I, I can show it. You can show it. It's the a big one. It is, it is a big one. The final donation, the total donation made to Mia Esperanza in the series is 54,000. Five hundred and twenty-two dollars and thirty-seven cents. That's pretty crazy. Our goal for this series was to raise fifty thousand dollars, so we met our goal and added another forty-five hundred bucks and some change. So you guys are absolutely incredible. Yes. Thank you so much for. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> everything. There are no. I have no words. This, yeah, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This money is going to go to to great use. I'll link uh, Mia Esperanza's website in the description of this video as well, just in case you didn't see our vlog and you want to learn more about the organization that this money is going to. Uh, it's a great place, great mission, and we are absolutely blessed that we can uh, that we could have a part in a very small part in raising this much money. You guys are awesome. So before we end today's video, I just want to give you guys a small glimpse at the sheer volume of stuff we had to ship out this week from this huge whatnot auction. Again, it's great. We love it, but it was it was a long, long week. We had all these packages here. This will be our last um, a last shipment of like the big physical items. And then we had all these are just thank you cards from people that made donations on whatnot. And we still have to ship something. So we're just sending out thank you cards, um, which have to have labels and, and, and closed up and all that stuff. So there's a ton of work. This is like the third or fourth box of these that we've taken to the post office. You can see all of our label remnants and stuff over here. And I just wanna again thank the Rolo people. This is their new wireless printer that they sent us. It was really cool being able to like 
all three of us, like me, Haley, and Kim, were all printing orders and shipping. Haley was over there, I was over there. Especially with all of like our craziness when we couldn't ship labels and we had like a whole just Excel sheet. It was so easy to use three computers at once and yeah. just like bam, 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 go and be printing at the same time. It was awesome. Yeah, it, it, it really, really was awesome. So thanks again to Rolo for sending us this printer for free and sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna go pick it up uh, for yourself, there will be a link down in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best and we will catch you on the next one.